Hi again, it's Dominic with Colmere Realty, visiting today with Brian of Colmere Realty on the topic of the difference between a discount brokerage and a full service brokerage, Brian. Yes. Go, what's up? Well, there's a there's a huge difference in between a full service and a discount broker. And and to go into all the details, we probably can't do that right now. So the, the main ones is, I like to look at it as people work off of incentives. You and me, we're, we're at work because we want to provide a living and we want to make a living. And so someone that's offering a discount uh, for a real estate service, what's their incentive up front is to collect a fee, uh, uh, usually between 50 to $500. And then from there is an a la carte service. So to put the home on the MLS, to put some pictures on there, to... All that um, costs extra. Yeah, they're going to charge above and beyond that. But then here's the catch is once they put that home on the market, they're gone because they've got what they wanted. And so a seller is left doing the majority of the work themselves. And for that savings, for some people, that might be worth it, but... Well, you mentioned savings, and that's interesting because do you know how many homes a, the average real estate agent sells? I have an idea in my mind, but you tell me. It's four to five per year. Per year. Per year. And as a brokerage, we've sold, last year we sold over 80 homes. And along with that, the average list to sales price last year was 96%, meaning people who put their home on the market got 96% of their list price. That's the average. Now, would you rather settle for average or the best? We sold 98.6 was our list price. So we're getting our clients 2.6% more that adds up to thousands. their home than the average agent. Well, it makes a difference between full-time commitment and part-time commitment. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.